Extradition laws are meant to call for good governance within this global village called the world. It's also meant to foster the relationships that exist between member countries and to maintain diplomatic ties within nations. What fits my imagination here is that while I appreciate the fact that this, uh, this treaty has been signed or promulgated into law or whatever, I think that the burning issue in the northwest, southwest, the east, and the far north regions in this country, which is giving each Cameroonian sleepless night, would see a better way of handling it if uh, we begin by signing these extraction laws with our neighboring countries. <coughs> That's one of my preoccupations. Because we have already had a free zone trade within Central Africa. And we know that Cameroon is like an island which is bordered by Gabon, Chad, Equatorial Guinea, Nigeria. And we know people can commit their offenses, jump in and out of these neighboring countries, Parazan. So if we have these laws that are going to tie these neighboring countries with Cameroon, I want to believe that uh, we would uh, curb these, these uh, protagonists that are giving us all this hell of a problem. And then, to, I also wish the minister to find out from him if there is a particular itinerary <coughs> which has been put in place that countries fall in the line for these laws to be you know, signed amongst the nations. I say so because you are those who know the history and the clients of the North and South West regions and the people who are giving us this pain in our flesh, blood, and heart know that they reside in America, in Turkey, in Denmark. And we have been crying foul here. Even the government comes out from time to time to say that um, uh, there are people out of this country who are fueling trouble in this country, Cameroon. So why don't we keep those countries as priority countries and sign these extradition laws with them so that they send back these protagonists and we handle the issue here or they are picked up there and they are judged so we can have some peace. It is not easy to dwell in a country like this that we know that we are supposed to be a bastion of peace and for some strange reason people just take upon themselves to continue to cause us a pain. So while I, I applaud the fact that Brazil, I don't have any particular problem with Brazil per se, but I think very few Cameroonians live in Brazil who are causing us a headache, except that my history fails me there. But I don't, I don't think that uh, to me as a person, Brazil was uh, supposed to be a priority country. I don't have any diplomatic problem with Brazil per se, like I just said. But I call upon the government bench, ministers, and they relay this maybe to the head of state that we need an urgent current place, a current call for us to sign this uh, a treaty with America in particular, with Turkey, with Denmark, these countries that are harboring people that are causing us headache. Let us sign this treaty with them, push the document, and if not call us on an ordinary session and let us pass the law and let's have some relative peace. It may not be total peace, but I think some relative peace would have been achieved if we go through that line.